Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. Saka here with another episode of NASCAR Racing 2003 season. We are back at the plate tracks at Talladega, Alabama with the 2000 mod. I'm driving the number one uh, Pennzoil Chevy, formerly driven by Steve Park. Brandon is in the race as usual in the number 28 Texaco Haviland car down there on the inside line. And if Daytona was any indication of what we may look forward to here, uh, we're gonna be in split pack racing. And there may be one, well, there will definitely be one stop, but maybe two. The projected laps here is nine and it's an 18 lap race. So we might be able to um, really stretch it out or we could play it safe and go for a two stop strategy. So the big key here, of course, is to not get involved in someone else's mess, as well as staying in line and using the draft as best you can. And since we got burned at Daytona trying to do the one-stop race, um, I'm leaning more towards the two-stop program and not taking tires on the second pit stop. But either way, the pace car is in and green flag is in the air. We are racing at Talladega. We are stuck on the high line there above Ryan Newman following the number 10 Lycos Pontiac driven by Johnny Benson. Let's cut down to the bottom and follow Jeff Gordon as closely as we can. Uh, Jeff is masterful at these racetracks and I think if we can stay with him, uh, we can get to the front fairly quickly. We can try to look to the inside, but we don't have enough help. Uh, Talladega is all about the push and where the push is coming from. And right now we've got Brandon on our deck lid, which will help us move forward if he can stay there. Uh, just sort of biding our time, uh, the first part of this race. We don't want to do anything crazy and get damage. A uh, little bit of damage here at Talladega goes a very long way. Since we're riding the bottom, it may be good to sort of ride out uh, this and up until the first pit stop. Uh, once we get organized again and we get into a pack, uh, we can make some moves. Let's go under Gordon here. We had a run and a little bit of a push. If Brandon can stay on our bumper, he may be able to push us by Jeff. It's not looking that good, however, as we are stuck on the bottom. And this, uh, these AI cars here get such a good drive off the turn. It's like the car on the bottom gets like bogged down when you turn the wheel. And these cars on the outside, of course, do not have to turn the wheel as much to navigate the corner, so they just get that drive off. Jeff is definitely pushing up there. We got Mark Martin that we can sort of latch on to. We have Sterling Marlin in our mirror. We basically want to just let these guys um, move and dice back and forth and see if we can capitalize on uh, anyone's moves. There's seven laps left in the tank as far as our fuel is concerned. Ward Burton is stuck up there in the high lane. That may be a position for us. Most of the usual players in the championship battle are up here. Uh, Talladega is also known for surprising finishes as well. So it wouldn't surprise me a bit to see a, uh, a non-winning car be up front here but just the way that these AI uh, are programmed as far as the ratings are concerned, uh, the chance of that happening is very, very low. Let's ride behind the Labonte brothers here and then they got Ward Burton down there on the bottom. And Gordon is picking and choosing his way through. We may be able to capitalize on Bobby Labonte here. He has no help in that high lane. And with Brandon pushing us through, uh, we'll catch a draft off Terry Labonte and off we go. We can at least put one down. We don't want to lose touch of the leaders and pit stops are going to throw a wrench in this whole works anyway. I don't believe the whole pack is going to pit as a pack. So it just depends on how well we can get on and off pit road as to um, where we come out in the grand scheme of things as far as the pack is concerned. All right, so it looks like Terry is choosing to work with his brother up there up top. That's fine, he can come down to the bottom here and work with me. We sort of split in the middle, and yeah, I just do not have uh, the forward drive. The, the pedals to the floor pan. This is as fast as I go, but we have, to, we have to make do with what we have, arc into the corner to gain some speed a little bit better, 
but uh, these, these plate tracks are notorious for being in the right place at the right time. And maybe if we come back, I'll put a little extra tape on the nose because our temperatures are still doing fine and we need as much, um, you know, forward bite as we can get. We need a lot of speed off of these turns for sure. We'll settle in behind Terry Labonte here. Mike Skinner's hung out to dry. We can put old Mike down a position. And with four laps left in the tank, the AI may pit next time by. So we'll need to keep an eye out for that. This pack in front of us may start to fan out or behave crazy. And that's where we can get into a lot of trouble with uh, either getting into someone coming down pit road or someone getting into us uh, coming off of pit road. We have to mind our P's and Q's as they come down here. Being on the bottom is pretty treacherous when they decide to pit uh, because they, they come to a complete stop nine times out of 10 in the racing line to get down to pit road. So we need to be on the lookout for that if we see them start behaving crazy here. Yep, there they go. Uh, the pack is starting to move up and it looks like these cars down here on the bottom are pitting. We will pit next time by no, no, let's go, let's go this time. Let's stick with Earnhardt. All right, we're coming down to pit road here. Oh, we got, we got bumped. Come on, turn for the love of Pete. Well, we got spun, but we're facing the right direction and I don't believe we were speeding. So let's, let's roll with it. Luckily, there was no pit wall that we had to hit. We're pitting right in front of Brandon here. This is going to be an interesting in. Here we go. We're doing just right side tires this first pit stop here and filling up uh, the tank. And then we are going to pit with about four or three go, laps go, go. to go uh, in the tank next time with a no tire change to get the most out of it. We do come out with some cars here. We have Matt Kenseth on our inside. Earnhardt has just left pit road. Let's dig as much as we can here. We can blend off of turn two if we want. Uh, but let's take the shortest way around the racetrack as we can, stay on the apron here and try to use this little bit of banking here to get as much speed back up as possible. All right, let's get down into fourth gear here when we come back up on the track. There's fourth gear. And now we just have to hope for some luck. As you can see, the pack has sort of spaced themselves out. We're gonna tell our pit crew not to change our tires next time. Just fill us up with fuel and we'll be good. So it looks like Brandon and Earnhardt will probably link up in front of us. Uh, we had Matt Kenseth behind us and we need a group to come with us. Unfortunately, with, uh, with that spin that I had in the pits, I lost my drafting partner with Brandon and it's, he's not gonna back up to me. Okay, so we got some cars coming off of pit road here. So we may be able to blend with them and get in this pack so we won't be so slow. As we're running alone, we are two seconds a lap slower than the leaders, and I'm sure the AI doing what the AI does, they'll be linked up in a nice pack and running quick laps. All right, let's catch a draft off of Terry Labonte here. And we will pass him. He's sort of riding the apron there, but no worries. We're gonna pass him and hopefully he can catch up back to our back bumper and we can get sort of this line moving here in front of us. It's good to come out and actually see a line that is comparable in speed as our speed will improve as well as theirs. Um, so we've got a couple packs of two cars. If this were real life, I would say that our pack would catch them fairly quickly, but you know, these ratings in this computer game, there's no way of really calling that we're going to catch these guys with any certainty. So we'll ride in line here as best we can. The fuel is dropping off. We're down to six laps left in the tank. Probably three or four laps until we pit. We just need to hang on to this group in front of us. Sterling Marlin, Mike Skinner there, and Jerry Nadeau. Let's just do the best we can to sort of stay in line here and not uh, put ourselves into a bad position. We'll follow Mike Skinner here and uh, Sterling and Jerry Nadeau there for the pass. All right, looks like they're moving down to the bottom. Oh, wow, Ryan Newman sticking his nose in there. That was a bold move for sure. 
We still have some cars behind us, so I'm not too awful worried. Uh, where we really need to start worrying is if we are the last car in the group. Uh, there won't be any push from behind, and there's a good chance we would lose that draft. But at least we are in a pack, and it looks like Terry Labani is committed to running with us as he moves down to the bottom. It looks like Terry is the last car in this pack, so he won't have the steam uh, that we have, so we can sort of keep him at bay. Well, I say that, and Terry Labonte goes to the inside. We've got some help on the high lane. Oh, sorry, Terry, didn't mean to get into your door there. Just a small scrape in the wall. Hopefully that didn't stop us. Let's move down in front of Kenseth here. Kenseth can push us back up front. We just need to hang on until pit stops here. Um, maybe a quick yellow can come out and we'll be all grouped up nice and neat. We'll all be able to come down pit road together and have a shootout for the finish. But as strung out as these cars are, I don't believe that is going to be the case or if there would be a wreck, it would be in this pack that we're in. We've got a massive run now on the 10. Let's follow Terry Labonte to the low line. See if he can pull us up to Johnny Benson and around. We do indeed get under Johnny and under the 0-2 of Ryan Newman. The bottom lane is forming up. So I'm feeling pretty, pretty snug as a bug in a rug here. Just sort of in the rocking chair in between these cars and biding our time until the next round of pit stops. Looks like we pulled Bill Elliott into this group, and is that Mark Martin up there leading this charge? So our group is getting bigger, and as it grows, it should get faster if we stay in line. Johnny Benson doesn't want to be a team player, but we've cleared him thanks to Matt Kenseth. And single file down the back stretch. Let's see if they get froggy in front of us. Everyone's kind of mining their P's and Q's. We have a couple cars up there uh, jockeying. Now they're starting to do the snake moving from side to side, trying to break that draft. Let's stick to the bottom. There's a, that car way up top there. Looks like Sterling Marlin here. We'll, we'll catch up to Sterling, no worries. And we need to start thinking about pit stops. Uh, we are within the range that this will be the last stop of the race. This will be the money stop. And I have no tires set, so this will be a gas and go only, just one can of fuel and we will be on our way. I'm pretty sure the AI will do something similar. So we may not gain much, we, but hopefully we won't lose any. I don't see how we can lose uh, just taking a can of gas because everyone needs that can of gas. So we will make the most of it for sure. We'll follow Jerry Nadu down. Uh, two laps left in the tank and I'm imagining the, the, the crew chief will start telling us how low we are on gas. Up oh, they're pitting. We'll go around one more time. We'll follow Sterling. Sterling didn't pit, so if we can uh, get out with Sterling Marlin as a drafting partner, that will help us out tremendously. We didn't really lose any speed there, so if we can get on pit road much cleaner than they could, uh, we'll be good to, for sure. Looks like another two-packer right there. All right, we do indeed have no tires selected. Tire temperatures look good. This one can of fuel should be enough to take us the rest of the way. And if a caution were to come out anyway, um, this is probably where we would finish. So we would need to get everything we can here. There's the call from the crew chief. The fuel gauge is going to start to drop, but no worries because we're coming off turn four here. Let's hit pit road quickly. Get it slowed down in time, chattering the tires just a bit. But we'll be down to that 3,000 in second limit and right beside Sterling Marlin. Let's take a look for the Texaco Havilland box of Brandon because his uh, pit is right in front of ours. All right, looking to the left, here we go. There's Brandon there getting his service. We'll just be getting our can of fuel here. The laps are going up, fuel is going in the car. Seven, eight, and go, 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 go. Drop the clutch, let's go. All right, we'll be out with Terry Labani here. We'll pass him so Terry can push us. Let's funnel in by Mark, and off we go. I think I may have sped in that last section, but I'm gonna go with it. So we did come out with Brandon just just a touch, if we were a second or two quicker on that fuel, we would be right there with him. 
Unfortunately, I think he's going to link up with the car in front of him and be gone. Now he's merging and going around. Maybe we can catch this car in front of us with the help. There goes Earnhardt. Who? Earnhardt has a head of steam, but he has no help. But it looks like Earnhardt's going to do what we did and merge with those uh, cars coming off of pit road. So coming down to four laps to go, I believe. We've got five laps to go now, but I don't believe the leader has taken the line yet. So we need to get everything we can out of it. We were seven across the line last time by. Let's see where we fared this time around. Yeah, that pack is going to form up in front of us nice and neat. We got Mark Martin with the push behind us. This will help us out. All right, coming across the line in ninth. So we've got a top 10 going with this pack behind us. I don't know if we can move forward, but four, mile, four laps to go. Just around 10 miles or so. And it's going to be a long 10 miles. If a caution comes out, we finish ninth. If the caution doesn't come out, we have to hold off all of these people, but hope for a crash that we can make up some positions for. So this is pretty much where we are going to be, I believe. We just need to keep Terry Labonte in our mirror and on this yellow line. Being the lead car of a pack does have its disadvantages. There goes Terry looking low. We're going to block him down to the apron. Mark Martin's got that run on the high lane, and he's all alone. Take a look at Mark Martin making those moves on the high side alone. That is nuts. If, Mark, if my car could do that, I wouldn't be in 10th, I guarantee you. All right, three laps to go. We'll keep Terry Labonte at bay as best we can, holding the bottom line. He's going to be looking, and we're going to be anticipating his moves for sure. We're in a bad position where we have to sort of try to draft off of Mark Martin, but Terry Labonte is going to keep pushing us through. So we need Terry Labonte to just cool his jets and work with us for a bit, but I don't believe Terry Labonte is going to do no such things as these. Coming down the tri-oval here, still behind Mark Martin. Maybe we can catch him. Two laps to go. The leader is taken. We'll be seeing the white flag next time by. And Terry Labonte is putting that pressure on. The car's starting to wash up just a little bit on corner entry. And the car is not sucking up to Mark Martin at all. Like, I am dead on the floor and I have to block that bottom. So we can't get that draft off of Mark until towards the end and that's not gonna help us out any. The car just isn't set up as well as theirs, I have to say. The Jasper setup isn't up to snuff as far as running in a pack is concerned. Or maybe that scrape on the wall that I had earlier was uh, the death knell. This game sort of amplifies the, the crash damage at Tal Talladega and Daytona for sure. One lap to go. We're holding on to a top 10 finish. I hope we can keep it. Drifting up just to the top, but Terry Labonte will not go around this time. No way, no how. Well, we can always hope that the leaders crash into a big ball of fire and scrap parts, but Let's work this bottom as best we can. Mike Skinner is sort of looking out there. Let's try to keep Terry Labonte behind us as much as we can. There's only a half lap to go or so. This is where our money is going to be made here. Wow, Skinner with that big run up top. I want to put a door in him, but that that's not going to happen. So 11th place for us, Talladega, Ryan Newman will not get the pass. And I am not going to lie, I'm pretty disappointed with that run. Uh, the cars got separated on pit road. That spin on pit road didn't help matters much at all. I think um, I could have been in that first pack. It, it's sort of that cascading waterfall effect where you you know, you get set behind due to something and then you can't make your way up and then you get involved in something else because you were back there in the first place. Not, not a fan. Well, at least we have until July until our next restrictor plate track at Daytona. And hopefully that night race will be much cooler, the grip will be much higher and we'll be able to run 
much faster. And who knows, those guys may actually crash in Daytona. Two plate tracks, no crashes in either the Daytona race nor the Talladega race, so. Pretty disappointing. So we'll come down pit road here. We'll take a look at uh, the finish and see how they did. Tony Stewart will get the win. So he is two for two on plate tracks this year and certainly a favorite going into Daytona. Let's get out of the car. A lot of people on the lead lap, but just everyone was sort of split there. But Tony Stewart is your winner. Let's take a look at the finish here. As they come across the line, oh wow. That's a pretty big run for Brandon there on the high side. So yeah, the leaders were in a pack of lap cars. And there we go, there is the finish. But let's take a look at the standings as they are here at Talladega. We have Earnhardt leading the way. Tony Stewart is now in second place with two wins. Gordon and Brandon with two wins apiece. Dale Jarrett and I with one. Ward Burton and Bobby Labonte miles ahead of everyone. Mike Skinner is now in the transfer spot. Jerry Nadeau outside looking in. Johnny Benson made up some ground there. Bill Elliott was a big loser there, as well as Ryan Newman. And it looks like everybody from 10th place up is at least one race ahead. But Kansas awaits, and that should be a pretty fun race indeed. But that's going to do it for me, ladies and gentlemen. Like, share, and subscribe if you are so bold. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we will see you at Kansas. Take care.